Okay, so hello and welcome to another edition of Starting Your Free Website. Um, some introductions to free services you could use. This is the Weebly edition. I will take a look at, um, I want to show you a little chart that I've been working on, uh, comparing different systems. And of course you can see some of the others up there, but I've highlighted Weebly. Um, this is a pretty good system. The green stars are good things and little red circles are, are not so good things. And you'll notice that most things on Weebly are pretty good. Um, can highlight a few of them. They've got plenty of users. They're a very popular service. A couple of million people using Weebly. Um, I classify them after having tried them out at a very high ease of use. It's really simple to use and I will take a look at that in a minute but uh, they're one of the two best that I have on the list really. Um, and the disk space is unlimited. Uh, just go to town. Uh, do whatever you want. If you want to host videos or whatever, the file size that you can upload is pretty small. It's like 5 megs, but for just about any other use, it's pretty darn good. Uh, on the other hand, there's there's only one thing that I've marked as bad, and that's not really a big deal for most people probably. The idea that you would have multiple users managing your website and being able to manage users. Um, most of the other site management tools that are free that I'm looking at have that feature, and, and Weebly doesn't. Um, so if that's important to you, that might be a drawback, but uh, for the most part, Weebly's pretty good, and we'll jump right into taking a look at it. All right, so let's jump into Weebly. Uh, signing up at Weebly is really easy. Um, one, two, three. They do have a, a little demonstration of features, and it's a very easy to kind of surf through how they do things. I've gone ahead and set up a, a sample account that we can check out, and um, We'll go ahead and edit it, but down here, if there were stats, you'd check that there. And this is what's under the more uh, box. There's not really very much there, so let's just go ahead and jump into editing. I've got that open. Uh, this is very intuitive. Let's go over to the home page, and uh, as I scroll around on the page, little content boxes, element boxes, uh, pop up to let me know what I'm working on. And um, for instance, very intuitive to just say, well, I want to edit this image over here. Let's um, take a look at what that does. When you click on that, it isolates this area for the header, but this isn't a single element. I've tinkered with it a little bit, and it was pretty easy to do. I put an image in there that has a white background, so it was easy to isolate, and then the background is just plain white, and I've got a text box floating over that. So when I click on each element, I get controls for that element. For instance, in the text box, I can change the color of the text to the font, the size, and uh, this is a good little um, way to add some interest to some things. You can change the direction and how big the shadow is off of some text. So that's kind of nice. They've got a couple of really nice things in there. And then off the screen over here, they've got a little save or cancel button. Um, the, let me go back up to the basic elements here. And I'll scroll down a little bit so we're in some text kinds of boxes. Uh, this box is a text plus picture, paragraph with picture box. And this box is just a paragraph box. And that leads me to the one real design complaint that I have about the system. Those two kinds of boxes are very different. I can't click in this box and put a picture in it. When I click in the box, I get some word processor type controls, but I can't put a picture in it. If I want a picture right over here, I have to copy all this text, delete this box, and then choose paragraph with picture, drag it over here and drop it, and then put the picture in it. So that's that's pretty annoying. Um, if I click on the photo in a paragraph with picture box, then I can get some controls for my picture up here. But it, it's just really annoying. You, you can't get there from here. If you delete the picture, then you have a text box but if you start with a text box and you want to put a picture in it, you're sunk. You have to delete it and start over for that element. Uh, up here they do have a, uh, the ability to drag and drop video, but that's an upgrade. Uh, contact form, you just drag that in there. I, this area is a two column layout element. I just dragged it down onto the page and, and actually you can, if you notice, you can divide uh, a, an already divided thing. You just drag things where you want them and drop them. So that's uh, that's nice. Off to the right here, let me uh, zip into a, a different thing to show you what's up here. There's a publish button and you can put your own HTML in here or drag and drop uh, Google AdSense uh, ads into your page for this. So that's nice. 
it is nice that everything's kind of located up here at the top. Um, in the kinds of elements that we have, there's also multimedia elements. Uh, I started a new page for, for photos, and we can drag and drop into here any kind of thing we want. It just says the page is empty. Let's say that we want this to be our slideshow page. We would drag that and drop it in there. We can choose whatever style of slideshow we want and go from there. It's very intuitive. Under revenue, they have uh, Google AdSense again. Things show up more than one time sometimes. And then uh, e-commerce uh, tools in there. So that's already plugged in and ready to go. Under more, they have um, a forum, uh, polls. Uh, the contact form is, is here again, out here in the uh, off the screen. Under fun, they have some games. Under layout, it's just the two column thing and a, and a divider, horizontal line. Under miscellaneous, it, it's the custom HTML thing again. And they have feed reader, RSS. You can drag and drop that. Under forms, they do have some more things. It's not just the contact form. They have an RSVP form as well and a, a survey gadget, uh, gadget widget or gadget that you can drag and drop in there. Um, then these tabs, these are also very straightforward. This is really kind of interesting the way they've got things. You can uh, leave your mouse over one of these and it'll instantly preview changing your design with your materials in it. So that's kind of nice. You click on it, it'll just take you there and you, you can do it. Um, you can also select themes from these general kind of uh, like business there will give you a selection of business themes. The w one complaint that I have about this part of the system is that there's not really a search. You can't say, well, show me all the two column red themes or that kind of search. It's, um, but they do have a, a large number of themes and some of them are pretty nice, so it, it might be worth kind of digging around in here. Uh, managing pages is very easy. You can drag and drop things into a different order, very simply. Uh, it's easy to add a new page or a blog. Um, when you're done with something here, you just uh, scroll down and hit the Save button. Settings. This is also a very intuitive area. Let me close this box so we can see all of the different areas. You have five different areas. Uh, under Archive, Unpublish, you can turn off your site, of course, but you can also manually download a backup of your site. It is portable. You can go put your site on another server. Um, you kind of have to know what you're doing to do that. And I, I believe you'd probably have to bring it back to Weebly to edit it, though. So unless you were pretty expert at editing, you might be kind of stuck in that regard, but it is portable. You can take it and move it somewhere else. Um, mobile settings, this is just whether or not you want to turn on a mobile browser when people come to your site with a PDA or a phone. The e-commerce settings is how to set up your um, merchant account for Google Checkout or PayPal and which currency you use. Search engine optimization stuff is filling out your site description and meta keywords. And also the footer, this is a great place to put your Google Analytics code. So if you have a, a statistics tracking uh, account with Google, then that's a great way to put that to work. It's free. And the general settings are you can just change your address. It'll always be whatever name you have, .weebly.com. But if something else is available, you can change that. They have a few upgrades here, of course. But the big one is um, getting rid of the Weebly footer message. But uh, the Weebly footer message is really not that intrusive. Uh, as we've been working with the site, it's, um, it's always there. Uh, let me even push this up a little further so you can see it better. But uh, it's, it's really not intrusive. That's it. It's a little text thing with this call to upgrade. So all in all, Weebly is one of the best systems. I, I really like that everything is up here at the top, easy to get to. And it's what you see is what you get. You click on something and edit it. It's really simple and uh, highly recommendable. So thanks for coming by and taking a look, and be sure and check out our other reviews in the Starting Your Free website series. Plus, of course, come to our YouTube channel or walkercommunication.com for more educational materials. And please contact us to find out more about how we can help you build your website. We'll be happy to help you with your graphics or actually help you build your site. Thanks, and have a great day.